Welcome back, Brave Frontier fans. A lot is going on. We've got our winter event queuing up here. First off, we do have the Glittering Winter Tide and Winter Glades Blitz dungeons open in the Vortex. One of these will allow you to craft the Advent Solace, the other the Frozen Fantasy. Uh, both of those do have a little bit of uh, farming involved, though, so... See really quick if we can uh, find those here. Uh, it looks like I've already gotten the Advent Solace. It's a pretty basic uh, entry level sphere. I believe it's uh, a 12% boost to Heart Crystals and Battle Crystals. Um, the item drop rate that it gives is only 2%. Mm, it's okay. And then Frozen Fantasy, which for some reason I don't have access to. Let's see if I can pull that up. I believe that's a 5-star rarity. Looks like I couldn't find it because I've got it as well. But that's a 30% boost to attack and maximum hit points, a 40% boost to your defense and recovery, and a probable uh, Brave Burst Gauge boost when attacked. So, can't really complain about that. Well, you've got a 3 in 4 chance that you'll recover about 3 to 6 Battle Crystals with that. So, if you don't have those, now's the time to get them. As well, ignore Kilnia there. So we're doing the winter login campaign, which is uh, basically you log in 20 days in a row and you get free stuff. And we all like free stuff. So, And uh, most of this stuff is pretty basic. Um, peppermint sticks, tomorrow will be a gem. There's an imp set, times three, another gem. 120 Brave Medals, a gem, 5 Burst Frogs, 3 Burst Emperors, 2 gems. Now on the 10th day is a free 7-star unit, which we've been informed will have an Omni, and his name is Toy Soldier Haido. And we don't know what his stats are going to be, they have not been released. He's going to be a free unit, so at worst it'll be another inventory minus 1, but maybe he'll have a neat gimmick. And uh, if you are a new player, sometimes these free uh, free units are worth it, so something to consider. Uh, then you're going to have uh, 20,000 merit points. Um, buy yourself some legend stones with that or something. Uh, two merit totems, uh, two gems, imp keys, two of those on day 14. On day 15, there will be a sphere frog. On day 16, you get two legend stones. On day 17, you get five Crescent Dews. On day 18, you get three gems. And then day 19, you're going to be getting 10 Wooden Soldiers, which has something to do with evolving uh, Soldier Hido and also his uh, extra skill sphere. So that's going to be interesting. And then day 20, you actually get a free summon ticket. Not as awesome as a unit of choice, but we all like free summon tickets. We can go ahead and get rid of this now. <clears throat> as well, that's not what I wanted to show you. They've increased the rewards for doing your dailies. Well, that's what I thought they'd done. Uh, doesn't not see much of a difference. Maybe that's uh, well, that's embarrassing. Looks like I've got some questing to do. Uh, the other interesting thing that's going on. Brave Frontier. Frontier surveys up. It'll be up for the next five days. I've done exactly three rounds. I gotta wait until I've got some more sphere orbs. 
Um, and one of the things I'm going to be trying to do is uh, I'd like to hit that 3 million mark, which is not difficult at all if you're playing Guard Frontier, but that's tedious and mind-numbing and frustrating. I play Auto Frontier, and I know it can be done. I just need to look at my units and figure out the best way to do that. If any of you have any experience with uh, Auto Frontier and would like to help me with that, Please be my guest. I'll go ahead really quick and show off some of the units I have. Here, let's do this here. This should show all of my maximum six star units. What? Huh. Should probably put that on something. And then our Omni units here. I have a lot more than that. I just need to level a bunch of these up. So that's where I'm at at the moment, and I will continue to work on it. That's the great thing about this game. There's always something to do until, of course, there isn't. Unfortunately, that does mean I'll have to step away from the uh, third arc, which I've been enjoying. As you can tell, I'm not using Loton anymore, which is probably for the best, although I do miss that poison proc. Um, been working on his earth element here. Is the game going to crash on me again? Sometimes it likes crashing at that point. Um, I've got water to 13, earth to 8. We're getting there. Slowly but steadily. Peppermint sticks. I want to go buy me some now. In fact, I think I'm going to go get a hold of some peppermint. Maybe some peppermint hot chocolate. That sounds delicious for a cold day like this. So, hopefully your holidays are going well, and you're getting everything you want in the vortex, and uh, the ability to summon. Merry Christmas, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.